All right. And then from here, we can go to this section, coil tubing section. First, we need to input the information for gas lift gas data. Let's say gas lift gas gravity of 0 0.7. All right. And then no H2S, no CO2, no nitrogen. We can leave it as it is first for the GLR injected. And then for the coil tubing data, coil tubing inside diameter, for example, 0 0.8 inches. Coil tubing roughness or coil tubing thickness, I mean, 0 0.2. With coil tubing inside roughness as well as the outside roughness, we can leave it as per default. Okay, we can leave the coil tubing specified tab as it is for now. From here, we can click done. All right, and from here, we can go to design section, go to coil tubing gas lift section. All right, All right, so this is the coil tubing gas lift design window. We need to input the input parameters and you can follow me. First is the maximum gas available. So we assume we only have five million standard cubic feet per day. And also for the maximum gas during unloading, the same, five. All right. And for the flowing top node pressure or the wellhead pressure, 250 PSIG, for example. And at unloading, the top node pressure or the wellhead pressure, we assume the same. All right. So Unloading means the unloading operation or after the rig job, right? After the completion or after the workover, there will be completion fluid, killing fluid, and we need to unload that, all right? Whereas for the flowing top node pressure, it means continuous production or continuous operation, okay? So for the operating injection pressure, we assume 2,200 PSIG. Also for the kick of injection pressure at unloading process, the same we assume, 2,200. All right, and then for the desired pressure drop across valve, 50 PSI with maximum depth of injection, we set at 8,500. Okay, so you remember the end of our tubing is at 9,000 feet, so the maximum depth of injection we can set at 8,500 feet. All right, so for the water cut, of course, 80%, and static gradient of load fluid, for example, killing fluid or completion fluid, it will be heavier a bit than water. So let's set it at 0 0.46. So for fresh water or brine, it is usually 0 0.433. So for the killing fluid, we use usually heavier water, heavier brine. So let's assume 0 0.46 with total GOR, 800 standard cubic feet per stock tank barrel. Okay, so far so good for the options. Design rate method, let's set it at calculated from max production with maximum liquid rate, for example, 25,000, or maybe as per the IPR, let's set it at 17,000 stock tank barrel per day. All right, and then for the check rate conformance with IPR, of course, use IPR for unloading, yes, orifice sizing on calculated pressure drop at orifice, usually we prefer that, the other is the minimum pressure drop across orifice. So I prefer calculated pressure drop at orifice. And for the vertical lift correlation, we use petroleum experts correlation. So we, you can leave it as per default. And also for the surface pipe correlation, we can leave it as it is. All right, so far so good. We go to continue. All right. We need to be careful here. So we need to click this one, this button, get right. Okay, so wow, interesting, right? 
So we can check this is the GLR injected standard cubic feet per stock tank barrel. All right, this is the GLR. This is the liquid rate, 8,297. All right, with the oil rate, assuming 80% of water cut. This is the VLP pressure and IPR pressure. This is the standard deviation, design rate, all right? 5 million standard cubic feet per day. We assume maximum gas available. And if we assume that, if we assume that, then the oil production will be this one. All right, so far so good. We can check at plot. All right. So the purple line is the this one, liquid performance curve. And this one, the blue curve, is the oil performance curve. And these red boxes are the calculated points. All right, so we can concentrate on this blue curve. So you can see as we increase the gas injection rate, the fluid produced or the oil produced tends to increase. But actually only from zero to about two or three million standard cubic feet per day. But after four mm SEF per day, the increase is not significant. It is quite negligible, right? Okay, so if we are talking about optimum gas injection rate, maybe three is the answer, all right? So maybe three million standard cubic feet per day is the optimum gas lift injection rate. Okay, we can maximize, right? You can see as we increase the gas lift injection rate, the oil production tends to increase, of course, but this one, this number maybe, 4 million standard cubic feet per day is the optimum gas lift injection rate. And you can see above 8.5, the oil production tends to decrease as we increase the gas lift injection rate. Okay, so far so good. We click done. All right, so from here, we can click design. Click. All right, very easy, right? So we can check, this is the measure depth through vertical depth. This is the pressure at this depth the temperature and gas injection pressure. We can check the plot. We prefer TVD through vertical depth. X axis include pressure and temperature. We click done. All right, beautiful. So this is our design picture. TVD through vertical depth versus pressure in X axis. And you can see, you can look up temperature also in x-axis all right so for the blue line is the pressure all right inside the tubing this green line is temperature the orange line is the unloading gradient whereas the red line is the operating gas gradient the gas lift gas gradient right and this blue line all right this gentle blue line is the maximum operating depth. So you can see this is our design picture actually. And kickoff injection depth, the purple line, all right, which overlies the maximum operating depth. All right, beautiful. So we can click done. All right, and we can check the results. Design liquid rate. 77,704 stock tank barrel per day and the design oil rate 1540 stock tank barrel per day assuming we use 5 million standard cubic feet per day gas lift injection rate this is the actual injected gas rate 4.8 all right actual injection pressure 2200 with orifice size of 21 per 64 inches. K 
kickoff injection depth and maximum operating depth this one 5413 feet okay so far so good right so we can click done and we click done all right just checking once again we can use this one you can remember this number 5413 all right click done done all right and then we continue opening this window all right so for the gas lift details gas lift method right we can follow you can follow me specified injection depth coil tubing specified depth this should be inputted manually so the depth is the 5413 feet all right and gas injection pressure 2200 psig with pressure drop across valve 50 right so you can take this number from the design section okay the gas lift method should be changed to specified injection depth be careful here right in the bottom left hand corner of the screen okay and the design depth injection pressure and pressure drop across valve should be manually inputted okay so for the coil to being specified depth you can check again the design section whereas for the gas injection pressure also the pressure drop across valve you also take that from design section or you can memorize it all right from here we can click done all right and we are actually ready to perform nodal analysis